In spicy science news. What? Spicy science. Science. Boston. By submitted by I love JK so much. Thank you. That you're willing to eat a booger? <laughs> a Yale professor explains how eating spicy foods will help keep you cool this summer. What? That sounds like an Asian thing. It is so Asian. Because you know, on a hot day, they tell you to eat hot food, like temperature hot or spicy, so it doesn't feel so hot anymore. Oh, I thought it was because, this is, I feel like I read this. When you eat spicy food, it produces sweat, and then and then that cools oh. you down. I mean, that's the science explanation, but the Asian explanation <laughs> is like, the temperature is hotter there, just make your temperature hotter, so then when the outside feels cooler. Yes. Right. Exactly. So burn from the inside, so the outside. Do you eat spicy ass food because Thai spice is like Death. asshole burn spice? I eat spicy ass food, yeah. You could yeah. drink sriracha probably, huh? <laughs> I, I enjoy a lot of sriracha, yeah. Well, not too much, because sriracha is a really powerful flavor. Sometimes it's a little overpowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I can eat some spicy shit, yeah. I could eat spicy food, but spicy food don't like me. Because Thai chili is not like, ooh, that's a little bit of flaming Hot Cheeto. It's like, ah, my taste buds can't taste. My dad always says that uh, Thai dicks are like Thai chilies. They're not big, but they're the most powerful. <laughs> All right. How cute. Um. <laughs> But there's definitely Most <laughs> <powerful. sound cute. laughs> what's uh, what's dangerous is uh, there's definitely uh, the green Thai chilies when they're in soup they look like just a piece of, uh, a piece of oh, fucking God. like broccoli or something. Yes. So when yes. you're eating like tom yam or like you might yeah, yeah you bite right into it it'll make your whole shit go numb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so fucking yeah. annoying. Like, why are you in there? Like don't be in there. Yeah. One of my favorite places is called Pot or Noodle out in uh, Hollywood. Fuck that place, because they always put the that shit next to the same thing. You don't put them in the same dish. Yeah. Why don't they just rain the juice out and then throw the fucking That's thing away? It. So you don't have to get confused with it. I always get mild now because I got medium and I almost yacked because it was medium so is hot. like hot. Yeah. yeah. Spicy hot. And they fucking find it. They're all laughing. <laughs> so funny. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> fucking assholes. He can't pick a spice. Look at the little beach. I know. They That's have the white... difference between Asian restaurants is like they'll fucking laugh in your face. Yeah. Oh, it's too spicy for you. Instead of like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me get you another thing. <laughs> oh, you can't take the spice, you little bitch. It's like, dude, what the? I'm a customer, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. It's too spicy. Oh, oh it's not I want some Thai food now. Some fucking boat noodle something. Mm, that does sound bomb. <laughs> we got to go to Thai <laughs> now. <laughs> Rest in peace. You guys closed down the rest. You didn't know it's weird. Yeah, I never got to eat it before they. Yeah. You didn't know? His parents retired. Ty Smile retired in I want to say beginning of 2016. Oh shit. Oh, that's that's a year ago, man. Yeah, year and a half. Yeah, they retired. They sold it. Yeah. I man. wish I knew that because you guys made like the dumplings with gravy on that shit. That's what you guys ordered the first time we met up. I know, and they don't have they don't have that. They don't have that in anywhere. What is that? It's just their own creation. It's like it was super random. You know how they do the the bird's nest shit? It was like latna, but poured over some like wonton. So it's like the gravy on top of the yeah. crispy. So wonton. imagine like the 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 dumplings, right? The deep fried dumplings. Yeah, yeah, the golden bags. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but then the ones in triangles. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Not the not the gyoza yeah, style, yeah, yeah. but the ones in triangles, and then you throw on that fucking chow mein shit. That gravy. Yep. Can they uh, take over the restaurant again just for like a month? <laughs> she. Or do they still make the same kind of food at home? No, actually, the people that took over the restaurant, they're selling it because the business was so trash after they took over. They're selling it again to someone else. You can't See, do it, right? You can't replicate the food, is the problem, Dan. Was your parents cooking it? Yeah, it was my mom's. If my mom wasn't cooking, it was her recipes. Yeah. Oh, oh see, that's what happens. See, people know when yeah, when you, returning customers know. know they know when they the food know. is different. They know. <gasps> <laughs> they know. They know. They know. They know. They know. You guys should come over for dinner. Like my mom, my mom is still cook. I'll bring a whole, yes. I'll bring a whole bunch of Hennessy, dude. Never <laughs> fucking get the text. <laughs> Literally, um, like, I want the wonton thing. The other homies that were used to eating in my at my restaurant, um, they're like, dude, uh, we like Benji was like, I miss your mom's food, bro. Um, from the restaurant, and my mom was like, have them come over, and then and then it turned from like two people to like five people. He's over for dinner. Oh. Yeah, come through. Oh shit, dinner at Tim's. That's dope. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, so you guys uh, hit it spot on with this Yale professor was saying about <laughs> spiciness. <laughs> what? I yes. totally forgot about it. <laughs> I, I had to remind you guys. Yeah, so what he's saying is that the chemical capsaicin that's in all the, Ooh, these chilies that... Oh, capsaicins. That, I used to have those after school in little pouches. Really? <laughs> it's a Capri Styles? <laughs> I was like, what? What are you talking about? 
Thai people really do like it spicy. I know, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, maybe it's a Thai thing? I don't know. So what you're saying is that it produces heat in your body, which then makes you sweat, and the sweat is supposed to cool you down. So that's why they're saying spicy food when you're hot, eating spicy food when you're hot is good for you. And so they're also so saying that there's this wow. reaction. Hmm? No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna talk to you. What? I'm actually not interrupting. I'm gonna let oh you, God. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yeah, so. He's not anyway. gonna let you finish. <laughs> I knew someone else was gonna interrupt. No, but you know what's crazy? So you know how a lot of people, it's really hard, like certain people, it's hard to eat spicy food after a long time of you not eating spicy food? Yep. So there's this uh, neurotransmitter called substance P, and P is for pain, and so they're saying that pretty much it'll be depleted slowly over time if you don't like continue. I knew it. Interesting. Mm. So even though you can't eat spicy food, or, like it's really hard for people to eat spicy food, if you slowly train mm. yourself, it'll... It has it'll nothing to do with the pain in my mouth. Pain the ass is the thing I have a problem with. You need uh, substance pain your butthole. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that doesn't work though. It just feels like I'm shitting a dragon. <laughs> Like when it comes Did you guys out. have that when you were younger? Uh, I didn't have that when I was younger. Because when I was younger, yeah. especially high school, I loved the spiciest shit. We would have spicy yeah. challenges. I would go to restaurants, give me the spiciest stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I built that tolerance, right? Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, I just had no interest in eating spicy mm -hmm. stuff in college and on. And I then when I got back it. to it, I can't take it no more. Mm -hmm. I know what's going to happen too. Your pee's gone, bro. Yep. So my question is, yes. eating spicy stuff is it, it helps you out in the hot times, right? Mm -hmm. But what about the ulcers? And what about the stomach problems? Yeah, you gotta mm -hmm. think about yeah. that. And yeah. what about the fact that when you're hot, you sweat anyway, so what's the point of eating spicy? That's true, too. There, you, there it is, right there. <laughs> Fuck this professor, you dumbass. <laughs> well, hey, well, here's the thing, though. For someone like me, you know me, I don't really sweat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, what? Sweat? I know, it takes a lot to get me sweaty, yeah. Like, we, I've been sitting next to him yeah. in, a, in, a, in a sauna before, and he was been like, why aren't you fucking sweating? <laughs> you don't even sweat in a sauna? It takes me a while. How about wow. how about when you work out? Like, um, <laughs> I really, uh, <laughs> I don't really work out. But wait, yeah. wait, when you go continuously, because I remember I didn't used to sweat a lot until I started working out a lot. I have to do like a lot of cardio to get sweaty. Yeah. Like a lot. This motherfucker sweats for no reason. Do yes. you use a lot of water? I sweat. I do. I do. Um, so I was gonna say for me, <laughs> I uh, I don't sweat automatically from heat. It might be good for me, you know what I'm saying? Because the spicy you sweat shit. From spiciness? Sometimes it has to be really spicy too, you know? Like that ramen challenge shit. Yo, fuck that thing too, man. That shit is hella spicy. My brother could take spicy food because he after I showed him it, I was like, "Do you want to try it?" He goes, "Dude, this is bomb." He bought a pack and he just ate the whole thing <laughs> for pleasure. Yeah, that one was not spicy the, the actually. Regular, the regular one was was fine. There's the next level one. Yeah, two times. Two times. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. My dad, my brother just eats that shit for the fuck of it. I almost died on the, the one time. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking almost died. You know, can you take spice? No, I, I can't handle spice to save my life. So spicy, I'm, spicy. It, it started getting black. Like I was getting a tunnel <laughs> by the end that of it. That happened to me when we did the chili pepper thing for yeah. DK party. I started seeing like black spots. Oh, over God. And like, oh shit, I'm going to pass out. Shit. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. You know what really fucks up my stomach though? Those fucking late night tacos because I know for a fact those are delicious. I know, but I put too much salsa on it. You gotta kill the bacteria. I, you have to. Because <laughs> I always put extra salsa because I like the taste of it, but I know it's gonna hurt my stomach the next day and I just wait. I'm like, tomorrow morning it's gonna happen. I wake up and blow, like 17 punches right into my intestine. <laughs> blow, blow, blow! And I'm like, Phew. you know what's crazy? Now you just made me realize, um, cause you know, I guess, you know, you sweat and then it feels good when, it, when it's hot, right? That's yeah. what they're saying in this article. And so my asshole also hurts when I eat spicy food, but when I wipe and wash my ass, it's like, ah, oh, man, it feels the great. Relief. Yeah, the relief feels good. Really? It, yeah, but see, there's that oil that stays around there. So like the after I shit, like the next 10 minutes, it hurts. It feels chafed. Yeah, so, so I'm walking out. Oh, but I get in the tub right away and wash my ass. I chill in there. Yeah, after I, after I take a really spicy, I should. Get up a day because when I have spicy shits like that, I do the enema part. So that fucking shoots water up your asshole, right? And it fills up your intestines like a balloon. Wait, up you, your asshole? Yeah. You get it right on there? You get it inside. What happened? It has to be I, a certain feature in, in the bidet. Yeah, yeah. It's called so, vortex. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called, called prison. vortex. <laughs> I did it to myself accidentally, but then this other time when I started having, when I had uh, diabetes, Diarrhea, yeah. I said to myself, hey, I got few pieces left in there, yeah. but it's not coming out. Yeah. I need to vortex it. <laughs> and then what the vortex did is shot water up there, made it into a balloon, and it was like 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes sense. That makes and it, it pushed out the rest, and I felt clean. So it's it's like if you have some, <laughs> if you have fucking chili seeds in your intestines and it's not coming out, use the vor vortex. It's gonna shoot those chili seeds out, and you're gonna feel like a new man. Yeah, cause it's at the office, and that shit when. I thought that was the only way to use the bidet. Yeah. And so when it, we both use it like that, yeah. not at the same time, but when we used it, it's like, it's you violent. can't even stop it. No. It just cut, it just, it's yeah. just get the fuck out the way and it just goes right in. Wait, the tube doesn't go up your asshole, right? No, no the no, water no, pressure's no, no. so the water hard. pressure. Y'all probably should be oh using God. the same one. Yeah. It forces itself so no. yeah. yeah. That's some strong so, ass water it's pressure. Crazy yeah. strong. Like, How do you not jump? I screamed. I said, no! And it just went in anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> it didn't listen to you, asshole ass. Imagine you're Puckering your lips as hard as possible, but somehow that like water gun is going through your oh fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vortex. <laughs> I, I tried. I tried to resist. Yeah. And I was like, ah! Oh, what the fuck? And it was like on full power, too. Somebody <laughs> fucking pranked it. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Somebody pranked it. <laughs> it's like Terry Crews on Friday After Next when he fucking uh, took down, what's his name? Cat Williams. Right. And he just took it. That's exactly what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, but if you didn't, guess what? You can directly contribute to the articles that we discussed. Just cruise on over to the description box below, click on that link to submit your article. Also, for the next video, click right up here.